in the first reading, St. Paul tells, tells the Thessalonians that it's the will of God for your holiness, that you refrain from immorality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. <clears throat> so it was good to reflect uh, on occasion on the virtue of chastity and, and purity and how to um, in, inculcate this more and more into our life in the midst of a perverse and wicked generation that we live in, and the culture that has gone, gone worse even since my childhood. I can remember things were not nearly as bad as they have gradually, little by little, gotten worse through these 40, 50 years. And so we live in this, in this midst, and we can't let our... Uh, our standards go down as the culture has gone down. We have to raise our standards, keep them high, and where, what is the level of the standards of purity and chastity? What is that level? What is the level that God expects from us? Nothing less than perfection. And we can't say that uh, times are different so we can make things less than perfect in this area. No, they have to be perfect. Perfect, and when, when we talk about perfection, we talk about small things. We talk about our thoughts, we talk about our glances, we talk about our speech, we talk about the things we look at, the people we relate to, the words that we use, and the little things. We need to look at the little things. We need to be pure and chaste in all the little things. And, and, and look to Our Lady, of course, who is the, the, the model and the inspiration in regard to her purity and chastity. And what was she? She was perfect. She was perfect in this area. And so we look to her, who is uh, not only perfect, but who God has given to us as this model and this recourse and the strength and the help in practicing chastity according to our state in life even if we're not religious, even if we're not uh, priests, uh, for the lay people, we, have, we must strive for perfection, perfection in this area. We can't uh, lower the standards just because we're not religious or not uh, priests. So let's ask uh, Our Lady to inspire in us this strong desire for perfection, realizing that if we're not perfect in this area, we will offend God. We will offend God. It's not just... Uh, we're, not, we're less than perfect, but we will offend God if we lower our standards. And we don't want to offend God. We want to please him in all things. And we know that only the pure of heart will enter the kingdom of God. So let us learn purity in this life. Thank you.